Hey guys, in this video, we'll discuss the best investments for 401k growth in today's market by focusing on real estate. By the end of this video, you'll learn how to maximize your 401k growth by investing in real estate, capitalizing on today's market conditions. Let's jump right into it. Looking to diversify your retirement savings? These top performing real estate investment choices will help you grow your 401k in 2023 and beyond. Do you really know yourself as an investor? I'll try to help you find out. We'll explore two top performing options for a hands-off approach to investing for 401k growth. And for those wanting a piece of the action, I'll show you a method that works great for your profile. We'll also discuss the best diversification strategies and an essential maintenance technique to keep your investments on track. Remember, the long game is better, even in the short term. Hey guys, quick disclaimer here. Real estate investing can be an absolutely phenomenal way to help you generate significant wealth in your retirement and ultimately create steady streams of cash, uh, cash flow in retirement, steady income, steady passive income, and ultimately build long-term uh, wealth over time, great compound interest, et cetera. But the disclaimer is it's difficult to invest in real estate through the traditional investment vehicles, such as a traditional IRA or a traditional 401k. In order to invest in kind of quote alternative investment vehicles you need to approach a custodian and ultimately transfer that capital from a traditional ira to a self-directed ira or alternatively from a tra traditional 401k into a self-directed 401k which is otherwise known as a solo 401k once you do that you open up an enormous amount of freedom to be able to allocate the capital the way that you desire right we're looking to help people create real freedom through passive investing in real estate but you can't really unlock that until you ultimately take control of your money through self-directed retirement accounts when investing your self-directed 401k for growth in today's market it's important to consider real estate as an asset class real estate investments can provide diversification income and potential appreciation over time here's how to approach investing for 401k growth in today's market you need to assess your risk tolerance and your investment goals. Determine your investment objectives and the level of risk that you're ultimately comfortable with. Are you looking for capital appreciation, income generation, or a little bit of both? You should consider the various different types of real estate investments that can be incorporated into your solo 401k, such as REITs, real estate investment trusts, and private real estate funds. These investments offer exposure to real estate without the need for direct ownership and can provide diversification and professional management to help you along your investment journey. If you prefer a more hands-on approach, you can consider direct real estate ownership. This option allows you to invest in very specific properties, giving you more control of your investments, but obviously it takes a little bit more of your time. Diversify your real estate investments by incorporating different types of properties, locations, and investment strategies. This will help you reduce risk and ultimately enhance potential returns. What we're all trying to do is achieve the best risk adjusted returns on behalf of our family. You should regularly review and rebalance your portfolio to ensure it remains aligned with your long-term investment goals and your risk tolerance, which changes over time. In my opinion, you should adopt a long-term investment approach, focusing on quality assets and strategies that can deliver substantial returns over the long term. In my opinion, we follow Warren Buffett's famous rule. Rule number one, don't lose money. Rule number two, don't forget rule number one. Investing in real estate with a, with a 401k can be a good idea for several reasons, especially in today's market. One, diversification. Real estate can provide diversification within your 401k portfolio, helping to reduce risk and improve long-term returns. Real estate investments generally have a low correlation with stocks and bonds, which means their performance does not typically move in lockstep with traditional financial markets. The majority of high quality financial advisors, in my humble opinion, seek to move more and more of a long-term traditional portfolio over to more quote alternative investments such as real estate. The Yale Endowment Fund over time has allocated more and more and more of their overall fund uh, to alternative investments because it helps balance the portfolio, creates better risk adjusted returns, and it's outperformed tremendously over many, many decades. The vast majority of the individual investors throughout this country should see that as a high quality example. And in my humble opinion, bring more of that sophisticated investment philosophy into their personal investment journey. Adding real estate also gives you more portfolio stability. Real estate investments, again, they're less volatile than stocks, providing you with a measure of stability to your 401k portfolio. This can help protect your retirement savings from short-term market fluctuations and reduce the impact of those inevitable market downturns. Real estate can also serve as a hedge against inflation because property values and rental income 
often rise in tandem with inflation. This helps protect the purchasing power of your 401k savings over time. As you guys know, a uh, dollar today is not the same as what a dollar was 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. You also get income generation. Real estate investments, such as real estate properties or real estate investment funds, they generate passive income, a steady stream of income through rent or dividend payments. This can be reinvested within the 401k to further grow your retirement savings. You also have the opportunity for long-term real estate appreciation. Real estate tends to appreciate over long periods of time, which can contribute to outsized growth of your 401k. Again, over long periods of time, we're talking about a retirement income. This appreciation is especially beneficial in more of a low interest rate environment where traditional fixed income investments may offer more limited returns that we've seen over the past few years. You also have tax advantages. Real estate investments within a solo 401k, they benefit from tax deferred growth, allowing you to reinvest income and capital gains without incurring immediate taxes. This can help compound your returns over time and maximize the growth of your retirement savings. We're implementing the same Warren Buffett snowball strategy that he's implemented in traditional vehicles over time, but using real estate as the vehicle. As you go down this path, you need to be assessing your risk profile as a passive real estate investor, which means you need to understand your financial goals, your investment horizon, and your tolerance for risk. This process helps you determine the types of investments that are best suited for you at this juncture in your investment journey. Here are some of the best tips to help you assess your risk profile. One, financial goals. Start by outlining your financial goals, such as generating passive income, building long-term wealth, or just diversifying your investment portfolio, generally speaking. Knowing that will help you determine what types of passive real estate investments align with your ultimate objectives. Understand your investment horizon. When are you looking to tap into this money? Consider the time frame of your investment. If you have a longer investment horizon, you may be able to tolerate more risk and invest in more properties that have higher growth potential. Think opportunistic or more heavy value add transactions. Conversely, if your investment horizon is shorter, you may prefer more stable and conservative investments, more of a core or core plus investment, looking for immediate income and less growth over time. You should look at your risk tolerance. Evaluate your tolerance for risk which is your ability to withstand fluctuations in your investment's value. Factors like your financial stability, your age, and your investment experience can influence your risk tolerance. An investor with a, a higher risk tolerance, they're going to be more comfortable with investments that have higher potential for both gains and losses. Folks like to think about the upside of the investment. Often, they don't like to think about the downside. While a conservative investor may prefer lower risk investments with just more predictable and consistent returns over time. Obviously, you're looking to diversify. Diversification can help you reduce the overall risk of your investment portfolio. As a passive real estate investor, consider investing in different types of properties, different locations, or different real estate investment vehicles like REITs, real estate investment trusts, crowdfunded real estate investments, private real estate funds or syndications. All of these are potential opportunities for you to allocate a percentage of your overall portfolio over to real estate. Prudent, in my opinion. You need to analyze the historical performance of these respective investments. When you research the historical performance of the various different passive real estate investment opportunities available to you in the marketplace, you'll get a better understanding of their risk and return profiles. Everyone is different. This can help you select investments that can align with your risk tolerance and financial goals. As needed, reach out, consult with professionals. You shouldn't be doing this on your own in a vacuum. If you are unsure about your risk profile or the suitability of a particular investment, bring on professionals. Consider consulting with a financial advisor or a real estate expert. They can help you better understand your risk tolerance and recommend investment strategies that, that match you, your, your current situation with your family and what you're ultimately looking to achieve. Remember that assessing your risk profile, it's not a one-time activity. This is an iterative process over many, many, many years. Periodically, make sure to sit down and review your financial goals, review your risk tolerance and your investment horizon to ensure that your passive real estate investments continue to align with your objectives as your circumstances change. Also vet whether or not you want to own real estate directly. Directly owning real estate within your 401k, again, solo 401k, it can be a powerful strategy for long-term growth. You can invest in properties such as single family homes, multifamily units, commercial properties, or even unique little niche specialized classes like we do, mobile home parks and parking lots. With direct ownership, you have control over the investment, you have control over the management, and you have control over the maintenance of the property. And you can leverage tax advantages like depreciation. I tend to be long-winded, guys. We're gonna chop this up and move the next one into part two, so click the video link and, and follow me there.